Hi Tabooligans, hi Angels, it's Sandy Taboo. Today, I'm showing you how to achieve this last minute easy horror makeup look. Starting off with pinning the hair back because it's about to get messy in here. You're gonna want some type of paper, whether it be toilet paper, paper towel, tissue paper. I like using tissue paper because as you can see, there's no print on it. With toilet paper and paper towel, they usually have like ridges and stuff. I'm taking apart the tissue paper ply by ply. I'm trying to get the most use out of the tissue paper while not having to use too many. What I like doing next is shredding it. You can do it in strips. Like they don't even have to be strips. They can just be like this. Now that we've prepped the strips, now we want to create some depth or bruising. Basically, this bottom palette are the colors that I'm going to use because they're darkest and also the purple. So maybe like this. So usually I'll just like go like this or whatever colors I want and then just take any brush. Honestly, you can use any type of brush. It doesn't have to be fancy. Go to the dollar store, pick you up a good brush, and then kind of just like go crazy. It just feels so instinctual. I'm just taking the colors and then just placing it all over my face in a padding motion like this. And since they're already bruisey colors, it's gonna look bruised up no matter what. So I guess just have confidence and believe in yourself. Um, because it doesn't matter how it looks right now because we're gonna be adding so many layers. Also, whoa. If you wanna go down more, just repeat this process throughout. Sometimes I'll even take like the brushes, three brushes at a time, just because I'm trying to get that makeup on here. And then I just go in and do a bunch of colors and see, it just speeds up the process. So yeah, you want chaos. You're looking for chaos. Oh, also I do have, I have like this, I actually don't even know what color this is. Now that we have the chaos, now we can add in the texture. For the texture, I'm using liquid latex. I got gifted this, this is from Spirit Halloween. So in Spirit Halloween, Literally the day after Halloween, they have a 50% off sale. Also going in with a spatula. You see, I have a little bit there. So I just pat it on, take the tissue paper, put it over top. And then you take the liquid latex and you want the edges to be down. It honestly doesn't even matter if the edges stick out. I dipped it in more liquid latex because it's horror. It's not perfect. And that's what I love so much about special effects is that it's very forgiving. You do want to be the most gentle near your eyes with liquid latex because your eyes are very precious and you just don't want... Also, if, even if you... Okay, I can't even finish the thought because I'm moving so quick. Even if you want to create some holes in the liquid latex, do it. Do what feels natural to you. You don't want to get liquid latex directly on the eye because once it dries and sets, it's going to tug. I think liquid latex is more, um, it's more harsh than eyelash glue because it's just not made for your eyes like that. So all these posters are ones that I got this year besides this canvas that my best friend, Cam Reaper, if y'all know that artist, oh my gosh, a legend, honestly, and just a great human being. Like, ugh. So Cam made me that canvas painting of a photo shoot that I did for myself um, and gifted it to me for my birthday. Like they literally painted me. I was so shocked. They like brought it over from New York to LA when we were hanging out about a year or two ago. And I love it. 
it's like so good. And it's one of my horror looks. So I'm like, yay. <laughs> this one is Alien Romulus. I just saw that movie like, uh, what, like a month or two ago. I haven't even seen the other Alien movies. I liked it. This one under the Alien Romulus poster is a Taboo World meetup I had this year. It feels so far away. A Taboo World pop-up shop at Silver Lake Flea Market, which, eh, it was okay. It wasn't the result I was thinking, and it just made me really see how different LA audience is compared to like New York. Nobody was really like alt there. So I did meet some pretty cool people, I will say. And then the two under the canvas are two movie poster flyers from Vietnam. They were horror and I wanted to go see them, but I don't think I had enough time. So I just stopped by the movie theater and it was in the mall so I could just grab it. Oh, see, it's already looking pretty horror, do you think? If you want to layer the, the tissue paper on top of each other. This is your mind and your creation, so there's no right and wrong. Also, your fingers are a great tool for blending, for just applying, so don't underestimate that. Oh, also, if you actually want to cover an eyeball, let's do that. I should have probably did the eyeball last though, because now I can't see. Unless you put a little hole in the eyeball. This is when we go back in with the eyeshadow and do the same exact thing and just go crazy with the coloring the rest of the face. Okay. For this part, I'm going to use my hands. So right now I'm going in with black and red. I'm just patting in the color. Like I'm just adding and patting. Take your bottle of blood. I dip the other side of the spatula inside. And then usually I'll just put it on the outside of the tissue paper. Like the border of the tissue paper. And I think anywhere you have skin is fine too. Anywhere you see skin. Okay, to top it all off, let's put on the wig and the contacts. This is my final look for this super easy, last minute quick horror makeup tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you try it out. Let me know in the comments if you do. Tag me on any of my social medias. If you end up trying this tutorial, I would love to see it.